Hello and welcome back to Junior Television. Today we have the Kenmore Box Fan again. Hasn't broke since last time, but this is part three of a three-part series I did on repairing it. You may remember last time we did a bit of work on the bushings, just took the motor apart overall, inspected the, uh, you know, various different parts, and I discussed an interesting thing that occurs with the uh, armature. Anyway, here, I never showed what it looks like in the end. I got the grill on. It is still missing two screws in the rear, which I replaced with some Phillips heads once that work. Let me just waddle around to the back. Unfortunately, as well, there are two bars here, here, actually there's three, and there, that are no longer connected to, uh, the larger bar surrounding, which unfortunately causes it to rattle quite a bit. So I put this tape on here just temporarily, and that, that seems to hold it in place pretty well. Here's those Phillips head screws I was talking about. Now for the most interesting part, though. I'm certain you want to hear what this sounds like. And I'm happy to oblige. This is low. It does take a little while to get up to speed, but, that, but that's very normal, especially for a fan of this age. Now this is about as fast as it goes in low. It is very quiet compared to when I first got it, and before I did the repair video even. It no longer requires oil every 30 sec minutes. And it's been consistently powerful and quiet. Now let's turn up the speed to the max high. It only has low and high. In high it gets up to speed almost immediately. This is the max speed. I'd say that overall it's come out pretty well, especially for a fan of its age and how it was used back in the day. Back to low again. This fan was originally my great grandfather's and it was used in a mechanic's shop in a garage. It was not oiled very frequently at all, which caused the bushings to run dry. It was so bad that, you know, it, it wouldn't even spin very much. And when it did, it made this terrible squeak. Barely even wanted to move. So I say overall, excellent improvement. I'm certain someday I'll finally get around to put getting some proper paint. This is slightly hammered paint, very barely you can tell. But if you look real closely, you can see. That's, uh, that's been part three of the Kenmore box fan rebuild video. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for all the support. Have an excellent day, and good night. Just remembered a quick side note to mention. Here's a low. This potentiometer is extremely sensitive. It doesn't click the way it used to, and that's of course due to wear. I don't have a spare at this time, and I'm certain that's another repair for another day.
Either way, now is the end of the video, and have an excellent night. Goodbye.